Join us, MrTruck.com, for truck reviews, trade reviews, and accessory reviews. Well, welcome, folks. It's Mr. Truck. It's Kent with MrTruck.com. We're doing another accessory review. And this is part of the virtual NATDA trailer show. So we're going around looking at the best products out there that are associated with NATDA and its trailer products. And today's guest is Jeff Murphy. I call him Mr. Dump Trailer because he has so many products for these dump trailers and I have one and I like it. And what we've done with mine, we just added that Zimmerman Easy Lifter Retro Kit. So now I can run my hydraulic pump onto my jack, took the manual jack and threw it away. Put the hydraulic cylinder, the kit together. Now I got power jack, I got power everything. But you know, that is so cool. But the problem I have now is like every dump trailer, electric hydraulic dump trailers are slow. So if you want to make a lot of money, get a lot of dumps, get a lot of stuff hauled, you need a couple things. You need a little more battery power, you need bigger bumps so you can go faster. And Jeff has the solution. So Jeff, welcome to the show. Tell us all about your first product. All right, well, thank you for having me. Uh, First thing I would like to talk about when it comes to putting hydraulics on trailers is how you've got a fixed power source, which is your battery. So everybody would like to do more with their dumps. They would like their, their dump, be able to get many dumps all day and never have a problem. Problem is the fact that this is a fixed power source. There's only so many horses in there that you can get. So if you're dumping a big trailer with rocks, you may get a couple dumps and your battery's dead. If you have a small trailer and you're hauling hay, you're gonna get a bunch more dumps. It's all load dependent. So if you can start putting gas back into these, I like to refer to a battery as a gas tank because it's a storage of power like a gas tank would be. Can I put, if I can put uh, gas in my tank more quickly, well then I can do more on my trailer. So we have products for that. This is our biggest uh, replacement of amps unit. It's called a road charger. It goes off your standard seven way. And it puts out 20 amps per hour. Every time you see an amp reading on a product, it's a per hour reading. So most of these batteries like this one, uh, this is the most popular. It's a 550 cranking amp battery. So a dump, if you look at these pumps when they've been put on a test bench, they run them to relief. They can pull, and you'll see right on the logo, up to 300 amps in one load if it's fully loaded. Well, that's used up half your gas in one dump. So <clears throat> if you have one of these units, which is not a bad unit, this is a panel mount AC charger. This is our eight amp unit. We got three of them. We got a five amp, an eight amp, and an 18 amp. That's per hour. So let's say you have the five amp and you just pull out 300 amps. How many hours does that equate to? So 10 hours, that'd be 50 amps with this unit. So that's gonna be several days to replace that. So many people will say, hey, I've charged my battery overnight. I know it's fully charged, where in reality, now, instead of being, you know, half full, it's three quarters full. There wasn't enough time to put all those amps back in. Well, this is putting in 20 amps while you're tied to your unit. The other thing that is a problem with any hydraulic circuit on a trailer is a lot of times when you go grab your trailer, you don't know if that battery's half full or not when you grab it. Usually, it's not full. So, you start your day with a half a tank of gas. Heck, one dump, you're done. If you have these products keeping it full, so when you pull out, you got a full tank of gas, you're going to have fewer problems. Plus, if you got products replacing those amps while you're using them, you're going to have a whole lot fewer problems. So with all that said, I know that's a mouthful, but that's the reality of having a fixed power source on your trailer. So now on the other side of the spectrum, people come to me all the time. They say, hey, I want to dump my dump faster. I want to get more dumps. Well, after I explain to them the amp draw scenario, well, now that we have the solutions to those uh, problems, now we got the animal here they can do twice as fast, but basically two pumps in one. So <clears throat> I don't care what dump trailer you have, you buy this unit, you're gonna get twice the speed, but you're also gonna be pulling twice the amps. So just so you know that. Um, one of the problems that do occur in our standard unit, let's say that we're just using this, which is the most common unit on the product on the market. You got a double acting circuit. You're using your cylinder as part of your reservoir. So as the pump's running, fluid's going to the reservoir, fluid's coming back at about two gallons a minute. So the reservoir level doesn't change very much. Now, if the battery's say half full, 
your pump's only putting out one gallon in it, well, the weight of your dump trailer is still putting two gallons back into the reservoir. You got one going out, so that means you got more coming in than you got going out. The reservoir overfills. So customers say, especially with the plastic reservoirs, if you do that too many times, they'll crack. So they say, hey, my, my reservoir overfilled. Well, we'll say, hey, is your battery charged? And they'll say, oh, yeah, well, we think it is. And we usually say, just take a, a running vehicle with jumper cables, hook them to the battery. Now you've taken the taken that battery totally out of the equation. And nine times out of 10, the customer didn't call back. They realized they got a low battery and that fixed their problem. The other thing with these, you overfill once or twice. If you look inside here, there's a little felt. I don't know if you can see that. If that little sponge gets saturated, now your reservoir can't build, uh, breathe anymore. <clears throat> so with the fluid coming in and out, the reservoir expands and contracts. So if you got a plastic reservoir, that's when the customer says, hey, my reservoir cracked, or the O-ring uh, spewed out of the side that goes here. That's all because of a battery-related issue. It's overfilled a few times. It's not breathing anymore. So I know I keep going back to the battery, but let's say the battery's perfect all the time. We have the now the unit, KTI has just come out with this, uh, that can do twice the flow. Uh, this unit is two pumps in one. So instead of just having one two-gallon unit, you now have two gallon units, two two-gallon units. So you're going to get four gallons a unit, four gallons a minute out of this unit, which is going to make, make basically make it go twice as fast. So that's the beauty of this uh, in a nutshell. Uh, and plus to do it with just 12 volt, because now you can use standard products. Used to, to try to get more horsepower, you'd have to go to 24 volt which is not something you can charge off your standard seven way. So this allows you to stick with your standard seven way, your standard battery and get twice the speed. Well, that's cool. And we all know that more loads means more money. So the faster you can make that cylinder work, the more money you're going to make. So this is a great deal. So as we get into bigger stuff, uh, another new product for us, fairly new, it's not so new to the market is uh, the telescopic cylinders. Well, let's see, let's go on to the telescoping uh, cylinder next. I want to learn all about that. Okay, Jeff, I know you got new products all the time, and this is a cool one. It's like a telescoping cylinder like you see on big, big trucks. So tell me the advantages and how does this all work, and why is it better than a scissors jack? Well, better may not be the right word. Uh, I'll just put it this way. This is already an existing product in the market. Um, uh, telescoping cylinders have been around for a long time. Uh, and for some reason, uh, guys who build dumps up north, Canada and northern states, tend to go with telescopics. Uh, it does have some pros to it, and that is you're starting with the biggest bore in the very beginning of your stroke. So these things can lift a lot. Uh, they, you know, every heavier lifting capacity, uh, they can get you, in, just depending on how you mount it, it can also give you a better angle of lift. Uh, so that's the advantage. One of the advantages of these disadvantage is it's only available in single acting. So you have to have a very big reservoir. And also, uh, in a single acting, you've only got to check on the pump, a check valve that holds the dump when you stop the pump in the up position. So if the dump is in the down position and you put ramps on the trailer, like you want to load a piece of equipment, the trailer might come up because with a single acting pump, you don't have a check to keep the bed from coming up. Uh, you might have to put a mechanical lock on the bed to keep the bed from coming up when you load your equipment. So that's a disadvantage of the telescopics. Uh, they're good. Um, the scissors approach is good. And the, uh, the direct push cylinder approach is good as well. They're just different approaches uh, with different costs associated depending on how you build your trailer. Uh, so we stock for all three approaches and uh you know this is one that we're stocking more of and now with the uh the high flow unit power pump that i spoke about a moment ago it's going to make these perform a lot faster than they used to because this is a very long stroking cylinder usually they take a long time to stroke which also takes a lot of amps which we've already talked about that uh, but in addition we're going to have kits this is the mounting hardware this goes to your trailer there's a hole here in the cylinder that mounts right here on this pin. And then these have two mounting brackets that mount on the top part of the trailer. So uh, it, it, there's advantages for sure. 
Uh, you don't have to work so much underneath the trailer. If this fails, it's not underneath the trailer. You can work on it up front. Uh, so that would be some of the advantages of telescopics. And when you need them, come see us. Well, that's cool. So that's something that you'd want to, you, you, I'm sure, and you sell to everybody. You sell OEMs, factories, you sell to dealers, you sell to the public. So something like this, they might want to have their dealer install it because he welds the bracket on and plums it all for you. Or, or dealers might be the ones that buy the most of these for ones that they want to change on it. So that's, you got a lot of options there and you kind of handle the work for everybody. And then dealers can help install this for somebody unless they don't want to do it themselves. I mean, the bigger companies would probably be doing that, but that's good. You get, give people a lot of options. Absolutely. Including the, the hydraulic jacks as well, which you've tried and we'll be talking about later. Yeah. Actually, let's go to that next. Let's talk about that Zimmerman Easy Lifter Retro Kit that I love. So, so let's see. Now you folks see me. I'm wearing the same shirt. I wear the same clothes all year long. Well, not really. But anyway, I took this to uh, Jayhawk Traders. He helped me install it. And this is the Zimmerman Easy Lifter Retro Kit, which means you take your mechanical jack, take the guts out of it, and you put the cylinder in there, and then you plumb it into the pump that's on your dump trailer. I mean, I thought this was fantastic when I saw it. It's going to save me a lot of, a lot of work. And I'm getting too old to do that mechanical jack thing. But let me show you this as we go, and then we'll stop and, and talk about it as we go along here. But it was actually a pretty simple process. I mean, if I, if I did the first one, of course, I've got a camera. It takes a little longer. Second one, I could, I could get done in less than an hour. This is pretty cool. I had help doing all this, but uh, kind of watch it. This, this is installing this uh, where my mechanical jack was to begin with. So that's what it is. It's that cylinder, and that fits right where your screw jack was, where the screw and all that was. There's my box, and this is on an iron bowl. It's got my pump and battery, and then that charger on the side. And then, you know, we just need to get one of Jeff's charger in there to keep that battery going. But, uh, yeah, there's the old mechanical jack. we got to take that apart and gut it and start over with a whole new cylinder set on it. And that's not, that's still, a, it's a single speed jack, the old one. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. And it took a lot of cranks and that's a very heavy trailer. It's 5,000 pounds empty. And most of the time I'm unloading these things when they're loaded. So now you're talking 14,000 pounds and that's a 12,000 pound jack. Now that, that the one, the Zimmerman, the retro kit, that's still rated for a 12,000 pound jack, isn't it, Jeff? Yes, it is. Well, it was, I was so tickled how easy this was. I've seen this once before, and I thought, that's a great idea. I just kept thinking with all those worm gears in the top how complicated it was. Well, they're greasy gears, but they, were, they weren't complicated. We got it tore apart pretty fast. And then everything that is in there is in the way. It's got a, a plate that's welded in there, and that's where the, the screw jack goes. And now you put the cylinder up inside there, so it's got, you know, it's attached really well. It goes inside of the plate at the bottom there. But uh, yeah, I don't remember greasing this jack, but it sure was covered in grease with all those worm gears or those, those you know, angle drive gears. But that's what we had to do first. We had to take the top part, pull the uh, handle off of it. And uh, that didn't really didn't take very long at all. So now I don't have a, a backup. So I guess I got to get my old bottle jack out if I ever have a failure, but I don't think I'm going to have that because I keep the batteries charged up well. And, you know, we got a good pump. But that's all there is to is taking the top part. That's the top the part that looked complicated to me. But, uh, and Jeff, you're like, you got, uh, I know these are patented from Zimmerman on this, and you're like the exclusive distributor, aren't you? That is correct. Well, that's cool, because now, you know, anybody wants to get one of these, they can just call you, and you're in Green, uh, Greenville, Texas, right on the interstate, I-30, and they can come get it, come get it shipped to them. And you've got instructions with that. And you can watch this video. It tells you basically everything you need to know about installing it. But uh, that's why we did this. It's about a 10-minute video. And you just got to take the clips and, and the rest of the stuff out of the, the guts on top. And that's the part that just looked complicated. It really wasn't. But then, uh, you know, it would be nice to have a dealer help you with this because we had to use a forklift to lift it up to get the jack out. I mean, if you've got that kind of equipment, a loader tractor, you can do all that too. And here we are jacking up the trailer pulling the whole unit out so we can get the rest of it out, the worm drive. And uh, yeah, man, this is, I'm so looking forward to using this and I'm using it now and love it. I got a trader docked in my front yard now while I'm doing some other things to it. But yeah, take this cap off. So here we have the jack pulled out. We take all this stuff off because we no longer need that bearing. We don't need that, that top plate. So what they've got to do is take that top plate, take the bolts, the nuts off and remove that plate. 
And then we get to saw all those bolts off. Now to make everything fit fine in there, because there's also a spring inside that, uh, that box there, the trailer. And we got to take that spring out. But there's the screw jack right there. That's what goes up and down through all those gears. And here we saw off the bolts. And there's one of these bolts uh, where your cylinder slides in and there's that hydraulic line that's welded to the cylinder that gets real close to that. So we can actually cut the notched out that one bolt in the corner there. And you'll see that. So you did, what else did you want to say about this, Jack, Jeff? I just wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, market that it's good for. Uh, if you're an OEM, you probably won't go with this because you're going to go with new jacks. Where this is good for dealers or end users. Let's say you're a dealer and you got a trailer on your lot and customer comes up and he wants to buy the trailer, but he says, well, I sure wish it had some hydraulic jacks on it. Now you can say, hey, give me a day. I'll throw on a retrofit kit or come back in a couple of hours. I'll have it set up hydraulically for you. So it's uh, great for dealers and it's great for end users. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, and it's, uh, I mean, this would be easy for a dealer to do. Actually, if you got your own loader tractor, anybody could do this. It's, uh, I was surprised how easy it was. I thought when I first saw a video on it, it was really complicated, but it's really not. It's just, it's pretty basic. And, you know, that, uh, that block on top of the cylinders where, the, you know, the hoses go in and all that, it sits on top of the casing. It all fits right back up in that slot and everything stays tied together. You don't have the adjustable foot anymore, but you don't need it because you got a hydraulic zone and it just goes up and down all the way. And I measured that somewhere. Where did I see it? I think I had like 20 inches of, of a stroke there. Maybe it was 23 inches. I know it was, I was really surprised on how much movement I had. And then we cut this piece off so we get that jack uh, foot to go up in there higher. So we took all the basic guts out and you know, we didn't see it there or not, but we did have to grind one bolt clear out of there to get plenty of room. We didn't want any touch and right that's the corner right there where we set, sawed that out of there. And then this puppy, uh, that cylinder end goes to the bottom of the foot and then it's, it's actually the cylinder is tapped. It's got threads, it's fine threads. You put this bolt in there. Now there's what's inside there is that bottom foot and the outside piece and then the other outside piece is welded to your trailer or bolted to your trailer. So you got three of those squares. There you can see in that corner where we cut that bolt clear out of there right there. And that gave us room for the for nothing to touch. We didn't want anything rubbing on anything. And that gave that tube right there. Uh, you can see where I scratched it on top until we took that bolt out. And that gave it plenty of room to fit in there and not touch anything. Because we want this to be a long life system. There's the threads in that rascal at the bottom of the cylinder, the bottom of the shaft. And that's what hooks up to that foot. So we got all that done and, and measured everything. And then we, we took that pin out that, that lowers that, that self, the adjusting foot. And we had to take it out to get the cylinder to go all the way through the bottom to that bottom leg. And then, of course, you had to put that back in because that makes both of those two pieces work together, which is what you want. But, uh, yeah, yeah, now I got a hydraulic 10,000-pound jack or 12,000-pound jack. It was so cool. Now, that, uh, and this is another of your products that are available to ship anywhere. And, you know, anybody can buy at the factories, dealers, the public. And you've been in business, like, what, 25 years or some crazy thing? Uh, not quite that long. Premium's been around since 2007, uh, but I've personally been in the market for over 30 years. Yeah, maybe we're looking wrong. Is that Zimmerman? Is he the one that, that, that uh, was 25 years? I had all these notes here. They're all blending together now. Oh, you might, you might be right. Paul Zimmerman, who's uh, developed this product with, with his patent, he very well could have been doing this for 25 years, yes. But this yeah. particular product is, is new. He, we've, he's only had this available for a little while now. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've, I've seen one video. It looked like I was going on a horse trail or something, but he, uh, he's he got it there, and you distribute it, and it's, it's working out well. And here we had to drill side holes in that outside piece, the part bolted to your trailer, to get the hydraulic hoses in that block, the hydraulic block on the top of the cylinder. So that shows me doing that. Yeah, we got, uh, we got all that done. So, and then, you know, the hoses come with it. And, you know, then there's uh, the splitter. What is that? The selector valve. You'll see us putting that in. That's what controls the hydraulic power either to your hydraulic hoist or to this hydraulic jack. Yeah, and this bolts in from the top top of that that block uh, has, is threaded too, and then this bolt holds it to the top piece there. And the top piece is welded in there, so that's where the pressure is going to go up against that. So that's nice and solid. And then uh, we drilled holes 
to mount the selector valve inside the, the battery box there. And there's the selector valve we use. And then we just had to run the, the tubing from the pump to that and from that to both sets of cylinders. The ones on the jack and the ones on the dump tray, on the dump part of the trailer. So that's all we had to do there. And that made it nice and easy. So now all I have to do is go and switch valves between which, which cylinders I want to use. So I like that. It all fit inside my box there. And there's, we've got the uh, nipples in on the jack itself. And here's the ones on the, uh, the selector valve. And uh, that worked out really well and nice and easy. And uh, then, of course, we put a little more fluid in it. But that's uh, kind of how things were looking there. We had the cylinders going in. And, and, you know, we just changed where all the other hoses, where the hoses were all going. Went them through the frame and down. And we got it filled back up. And it was, uh, you know, basically ready to go. But that's basically an hour project if you know what you're doing, read the manual and think about it a little bit. They're not, not so complicated. It was a much easier job than what I thought it was going to be. Now, uh, are you you selling quite a few of these, are you, Jeff? Yeah, they're starting to take off. Uh, it took us a while to, to get the BOM or bill of material fine-tuned. Uh, so you know, we've been, they're available for market, have been for a few months now. And yeah, they're starting to take off for sure. Well, that is so cool. It's so nice, especially on a you know, loaded trailer. It drives you nuts jacking that up and down. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful sight, seeing that thing go up and down like that. Just using the buttons on my little selector there. And now we're dumping the whole trailer. And this is, uh, I think it's a 14,000 GVW trailer. got a scissors jack. And it's, uh, you know, it's 14,000 pounds. And then, you know, 7,000 pound axles, and that, that worked pretty well. But you can also see that the speed, that's normal speed of a dump trailer. And that first device we showed you, Jeff has, will speed that up to give you twice the speed so you can get it dumped and go. But, uh, you know, I might haul, when I haul, I haul, you know, two to three a day. I don't haul all day long like the professionals were making a living doing this. But that's how that worked. And that was awesome. Okay, I'll, I'll start off with this. This is uh, just showing a few more of the products. There's that cylinder we talked about, the telescoping cylinder. You can see how those, you know, several shafts in there that are going up and telescoping out. And there's, you can see the, the brackets right there and, you know, what it takes. You sell, you know, solar panels. You sell all these different hoists. There's one of your hot rod trailers. And uh, you've got a lot of products, and it's all about dump traders and, you know, and, and battery life. You, you really get into selling a lot of it the battery optimizer kits and let's now this is Jeff's website you can see on there he's got everything look at all the cylinders the whole hoist if you need a hoist the pumps the different kits for two cylinders one cylinder all those things there's the road charger we talked about and uh, everything in the world you have you can find on your website and your website is just premium-supply.com I think it's called a hyphen premium-supply.com and that's your website down there in Texas. And then they can contact you there. Look at all, my goodness, look on that left border, all the different things you do. You have gas powered units, battery charging units, winches, first aid kits, and you know, to fix your hydraulics, pump accessories, the KTI hydraulic pumps, the Zimmerman Easy lifters that we just talked about. And that's just awesome. So you're the guy to go to for hydraulics and everything else there because do with those dump traders. And that is just awesome. I love my dump trailer. It's actually my favorite trailer. Okay, Jeff, we got a lot of stuff in that video and they can always go to your website. And in the link in the description below, I'll show you the NATDA virtual tour uh, links and to the NATDA. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you Jeff's uh, website, which is the premium-supply.com. And then, of course, you can go there for more information. And, you know, we'll share this video and you'll be able to see it everywhere you go. Now, thanks for joining. Is there anything else you wanted to add, Jeff? Uh, no, just uh, come to our website, see what you like, and uh, place an order. Hey, that's an idea. It's <laughs> Christmas time. Let's buy everything you have. Right. Let's do that. That's a good idea. That's a the Christmas tree, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, who needs a Christmas tree? We just need a bunch of these hydraulic pumps. That's all we need. There you go. Um, <laughs> I appreciate you watching, folks. Come join us. This video will be up here today, actually. And you can see it, and then come back and visit me at mrtruck.tv for more videos and more accessory reviews. Thank you, and see you later.